my recordings start out now sitting here and waiting for things normally. Uh, that's just not right. I'm preparing for another run with my scout ship. Problem is that I am out of uranium, let me see, and I just went, what was that, and got some uranium here. And the conversion rate, let's say, is not good. <laughs> you can see that here. That was 56k uranium. And I'm only getting 37 out of out of around 10k uranium ore. Conversion rate is not good. And I know that for a normal run, the scout ship takes, don't know, 100, 200 uranium. So... If I'm using that, I'm burning through a lot of uranium. Um, we don't know. We would have to modify the ship or change out the whole energy system. I'm, I'm not sure how to do that now. I'm not sure. Um, we will have to work on this in the future. Um, I'm. I did some work on the station, some more. You can see that here. Um, I'm patching holes. I'm working out stuff with um, glass and windows and all that stuff. And I will do that in a second a bit more. I I started to don't know, try to get a color scheme for the whole thing. Biggest problem right now is that I'm not sure. Huh, I'm, I'm okay with going, don't know, with colors on the outside. But as floor patterns, oh, it's just too big. It's just too big. <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, man, man. I added some lights so we are not sitting uh, in complete darkness when we are coming in here. And I still have to say the gate system now works perfectly. I don't have any problems with the, with the gates anymore. So I went back to the, to the old station or to, to the main base and s yeah, took a look if there is maybe uranium left. It is not. <laughs> so we brought a lot of the uranium over here. And um, yeah, uh, we, are, we are really, really out of it. <laughs> I'm, I, I went to one of the asteroids over there and got a whole patch a whole patch of uranium so that the the whole asteroid was out of out of uranium after that and hmm that's all i'm burning through the refinery there i i even turned off the or not turned off the but i disconnected this um reactor <laughs> from the conveyor system so it doesn't use that anymore hmm <laughs> We, I got a comment, <laughs> I got a comment on one of my older videos uh, uh, recently that says more, more solars, more productivity. And I think this will also count for the, for the scout ship. We will have to remodel that and do some work on that and really, really, uh, get that going. Another thing I tested um, was recently if the ships that I anchor to these to the dump ship 
would jump with the ship. That works. That's a good thing. So if we find small ships or something like that, we can really bring them back via jumping uh, to the main base if we want and if we <laughs> if we have enough materials. Ah, oh, man. I even uh, considered to... <laughs> don't know. Yeah, we we really have to find a way to feed the ship with power. I even considered to add a mod that adds, don't know, some weird reactors. But I think that's not the way to go, to use some cheaty mods to... Uh, yeah, just have this scout ship running. Now it's the, the question is, should we make remodel this one? Or maybe build a small one? Because as far as I think, a small one wouldn't use up so much energy. The problem that I have with the small one is that this, the small antennas range is a lot smaller than the range of this ship. With this ship I could fly into a direction and then just scan once in a while every don't know 20 kilometers because I think the range of the big antenna is 50 kilometers and that should be enough to yeah cover uh, really the radius. I think it's even the radius. Let's take a look at that antenna. Yeah, 50 kilometers. And that gives us uh, oh, yeah, a, a big range of, of space that we can cover. Um, let's see what the small ships have. There is the scout, or not the scout, the, the ship that is on the back here, the, the one we found. And it has an antenna to 500... See, it's only 5,000 meters. So 5 kilometers. And that's not working out. We, we need... We need the big ship. No way out. And the jump ship gives us gives us a way to um, yeah to save up on time. So hmm. Hmm. We could try to reduce the weight, but I think that that will not do anything. We could... Hmm. Yeah, but I think adding solar panels will help, because solar panels yeah, really reduce the amount of power we need to put through these reactors. Problem is that both reactors, w if the ship jumped, both reactors fire for a for a whole don't know five three I don't know three to five minutes for. On, on, on the edge of their seats, so the whole ship is overpowering. And that is what burns all the uranium. So... What we could do... What we could do is... How, what do batteries need? B 
batteries. Um. Oh, did they change the model, or is that from one of the from one of the updates? The danger electricity just. <laughs> I don't really like that. Uh, power cells, 120. A few computers, a few steel plates, uh, construction components, and a bit of metal grid. That's not too bad. Let's finish one of these. Let's finish one of these. Um, that's, that's not what I wanted to do, but we will do it right now. Um, power cells. I hope that I have enough materials. Let me... to get some power cells. By the way, I finished the assembler and um, the other arc furnace. So... Nickel... I brought nickel with me. There should be enough nickel for everything. Silicon, cobalt, cobalt could be a bit of a problem, but it seems that cobalt also <laughs> comes in. Um, some metal grid, just get that. Some steel plates, and I need construction components for sure. Some computers. I want to finish one to just see if... Oh, this will be the worst part that I will have to run and run and run and run and run. To see how much energy they store and how much energy the... <clears throat> because if I can run batteries, I could set them to load before a jump. And then load them with with solar cells. I'm not sure. I'm I'm just not sure that that's all kind of uh, trying to trying to fix <laughs> fix a problem we we have with this mod because it 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 might be just a thing that the mod. The, the mod is not balanced right, or I, I did something wrong. Mm. I'm not sure. The batteries could help to soften the the problem with the the problem with the uranium. So adding adding batteries, adding solar cells could give us the opportunity to load the whole ship with solar cells and then I think I need five and then have a bit of a power buffer if we jump so that could ease out a bit of the Okay, computers and more construction components. It could ease out the the uranium use. Also, we should add solar panels. We will have to redesign that anyways, but I will go with the version that we have right now and then find a neat way how we could remodel that a bit. Mm. Okay, these can go back into the storage. I will just put it in here. Get this. Get this. That should finish the power bank there. Let's... <laughs> it's... Ah, and I need a better entrance into this. And... Ah, okay. It starts to it started to work immediately. So 
max stored power is one megawatt. Max output four megawatts, so I can run it for fifteen minutes. Max output is four megawatts. And max stored power is one megawatt an hour. <laughs> Fully depleted in zero seconds because nothing is in there. That is... <laughs> The batteries are not a good way to the batteries are not a good way to power anything I have the feeling um <laughs> this will be all a balance a balance a balancing thing so as far as i know the 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 solar panels are always top of the line so um the batteries will be charged with solar panels mainly and all the rest will be pumped in with reactors. Now the question is how are the batteries in that line? Do the batteries come after the s solar panels? So if something uses energy, is it the batteries that come next? Or is it the reactors that come next in the line? <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We will see. <laughs>